what's called phase one, which has been uh, approved and funded for uh, that phase one. Uh, that phase one begins at the uh, in downtown Los Angeles at the Seventh and Metro station of the existing red and blue line. Uh, it u it sh utilizes the blue line tracks down to Washington Boulevard and then continues south on Flower Street to Exposition Boulevard. Metro bought a lot of railroad right of ways back in 1991 from the railroads. Of $400 million purchase, and that was one of the right of ways that was bought at that time. The old, what <coughs> used to be the old Santa Monica Airline, I mean, that was the name of it. it. It was originally built in 1875, but in 91, uh, it, it had stopped operation. The last freight operation on there was in uh, 1986. Uh, passenger operations stopped in 57, I think it was. But uh, when Metro acquired that right away, it was always being hoped to use it for a future expansion of the uh, uh, passenger rail system in Los Angeles. Rest of the phase one involves going down the uh, Exposition Railroad right away on, on Exposition Boulevard uh, as far as Culver City. And I think we have a total of 11 stations on the phase one project. Two of those are existing blue lines shared with the existing blue line. So nine new stations uh, and uh, a total of 7.3 miles of new rail line. The Expo project early in the environmental process adopted what they called a transit parkway theme, which was to have not only the light rail line, but to landscaping. The other thing that was adopted was to have a weaving theme to the design. Well, a couple of elements. One is that they wanted a common design between stations so that you could easily recognize that you were on the expo line or when you arrived at a station that it was part of the expo line. Uh, that has been different on some of the other projects deliberately had uh, a policy of designing each station to be unique uh, to reflect more of the surroundings. On the expo line they wanted this commonality in design and, and then they also wanted a weaving theme So those, those were kind of unique elements to, to the Expo project. It's definitely been mixed. Uh, the bulk of the people in, in the communities seem to be for the line, but, uh, and then there is an active group promoting the line, uh, Friends for Expo, which has been in existence for well before the line was adopted for uh, final design and construction. All through the environmental phase, there was a small group of uh, homeowners uh, and uh, citizens that lived in the mid-quarter portion of the alignment, what we call the mid-quarter, uh, the area basically from uh, Vermont to uh, La Brea uh, that have uh, raised very various concerns about it. I don't think that they characterize themselves as being opposed to the project itself, but they wanted to see some changes. Uh, primarily, they would like to see it undergrounded so it's not a, uh, not as visible or uh, doesn't have as impact on the community in terms of noise or uh, also uh, safety concerns about crossings. Uh, on the uh, at, at grade crossings. Uh, excavating underground and then dealing with all the utilities that you have to deal with when you 